there and welcome to my channel. If you caught my last video, I know I said I'd edit our Kyoto trip next, but then I realized I've been making a lot of travel vlogs lately and wanted to get back to my art reviews. Mostly because I recently got this box of Arteza gouache and I have to admit, I really love it. It's always a little nerve wracking to buy such a big variety pack of colors because you never know if you'll actually use them all. And while I do have my favorites, this pack of 24 has been a good mix. If you found me through my art Instagram, then you're most likely familiar with the Animal Crossing series I made recently. And those were all done with this pack. I noticed that I was getting a lot of comments on the color palettes I was using. And I really feel I have Arteza to thank for that because each tube is so vibrant. In the past, I have done a Windsor Newton gouache review, and I am still happy with that set. But if you're looking to get a wide variety of colors for a low price, then I would say this set of 24 is a good starter pack for anyone who wants to further their skills with gouache. I also want to mention that I've been obsessed with my Windsor Newton University level brush lately. The one I'm using in this video is number 233 of Windsor Newton's University series in a size three. So I think I'm gonna get a smaller fine liner and a bigger one. It may not work as nice as some of the more expensive high quality brushes, but for the price point, I think this is my new go-to.
Before finishing this piece, I took a little break to make a thumbnail of the same idea to see if I wanted to fill in her eyes and nostrils with my Micron brush pen. And I'm glad I did because I decided to stick with gouache for the main 5x7 piece. Sometimes we only know what we want with trial and error. You'll see at the end of this video that the main piece comes out a bit different than this smaller version. Let me know in the comments which you prefer. And remember that gouache is forgiving. Even though I made a smaller thumbnail painting to practice a color palette, if there ever was something I didn't like, gouache is very easy to layer, like acrylic. You just have to be careful of wetting the canvas too much or it will reactivate and mix with whichever color you're layering on top. Here's an example of how gouache can reactivate. I accidentally dripped a bit of water on the painting, so I decided to paint some daisies in the background. She is named Daisy May after all. And there are our Daisy May paintings. If you are interested in buying some Arteza gouache for yourself, I will have my affiliate links in the description below. If you make a purchase with any of my links, it does help me out a little bit, so thank you in advance. And if you're interested in buying either of these paintings, I will have them in my Etsy shop. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video helps. Bye!